Hey guys, this is my first ever floss tube. A little bit nervous, um, but I plan to show you through all my whips, my sows, um, what I'm working on, um, and what my plans are for the next month. So I've got a pile here full of projects, as you just heard, some of them just fell. Let me just grab those. Okay, so my first whip I should show you is one I haven't worked on for a little while. Um, and I've only, it's a sow and I've only actually done one full block and started on my second. It's the Nintendo Cell by Amaja Designs. Um, I've done the very first block which is Mario and started the second one which is Duck Hunt. Um, by now there's loads out, you um, can stitch 12 or 24. I plan to just stitch 12. Some of the designs I'm not overly liking um, so I'm just going to mix and match my 12 from the 24 that we've been given in total. Um, this one's been on the back burner for a little while um, I got behind at the beginning of the year and I'm struggling to um, catch up a little bit but yeah that's one of my cells okay my oldest cell and again this is behind oh sorry that's on a piece of 28 Jobelin in a light blue Okay, my oldest cell, which most of you's probably seen, is the Lakeside Fantasy cell. Um, I've done all the circles. Um, I did those this month so that I was ready. I've done parts of the border. I've stitched January, February, and in February. If you'll be able to see, I've changed out the um, red that was charted for some metallic, which was a pain to work with. It was with DMC, but yeah, I did start on March, but I haven't got any further as yet. This is stitched on 16 count Ada um, in Secura from Chromatic Alchemy, and the needle mind is from. Needle Keep Emporium. Uh, this cell is actually finished. My plan was to work on it from January through to December, but yeah, that plan's not kind of working. <laughs> um, I took ill early in the year um, and I got behind. I had some hospital stays and I've lost my stitchy bug a couple of times and I have good and bad days as I suffer with fibromyalgia so I don't always get to stitch I love to stitch and it's my you know relaxation but doesn't always happen oh and that sow was by Lakeside Needlecraft okay another sow Again, so far behind on this. That's all I've got done. And that's the Stitch Rovia uh, quote sale. Um, it's a charity sale for Mind. And that's just stitched on a piece of 14 count Ada. I was hoping to do this for a friend for Christmas, but that's not looking likely as i've not got a lot done we'll see what i can get done in the next couple of months um my needle minders also from needle keep emporium um this one actually the last part's released next month so the border and what we'll read quotes was the first part and this was the second part um 
So yeah, really far behind on that one. Um, I can't remember the last time I touched this one actually. So I think I probably need to get this one out and get some work done on it this month. So yeah, that'd be good if I can get a little bit caught up on that this month. Okay, another sale. Uh, this one started in January. It's a year long sale. And it's the Under the Sea sale from Lakeside Needlecraft, designed by Doreen Jones. I did the January, February, started on March, realised my fish was out and it should have been further over. Um, so instead of unpicking this, I put the submarine in, I've counted it right, so the submarine will still fit where it's meant to. And then I'm just going to play around and put the extra fish in, but I'll see how I'm going to plan that when I get there. What I'm thinking of doing is going down under here, because we've had the whole row release now, is going down under here, stitch this under, and then I'll be able to see what room I've got around here and how I'm going to play that. Um, it was either that, unpick it or restart it and I thought it fits so it's going to be unique a lot of my stitching has got some sort of an error in it <laughs> and this is just stitched on a piece of uh, 28 count even weave it's the exclusive one for Lakeside Needlecraft um, and my needle minders from Needle Keep Emporium So I put these away or I'm going to end up with a big mess at the end. I just store all my projects in little poppy wallets. Okay. Um, another sale which I have worked on. I worked on this in July. Behind on it, but it's the Happily Ever After sale. I've got January done, February done, March is done, it's unique. <laughs> I've started April's, it's not quite finished, and I've started the centre I did that whole March block and the centre when I picked this up last month. I need to go back and finish April, and then May's is over here, and then the rest will go underneath. This is on the call for fabric. It's a linen, I think it's 32 count. I think it's Helix, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I bought it from the Patchwork Rabbit. And my needle minders from Needle Keep Emporium. Another sale I'm really behind on and has finished. Um, I started this and kind of lost my stitchy bug part way through. So yeah, um, I haven't done any more work on this yet. But it's the free tea and cake sale by Lakeside Needle Craft, designed by Doreen Jones. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count opalescent. Belfast linen. Um, I did the border in a Jodery Threads. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and then the first block is done in the Call for Colours. It's a mix of uh, Week Style Works and um, DMC. And my needle minders are from Needle Keep Emporium. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot way to go on that one but that one is isn't priority so i can't see me working on that one just yet it is a small quick piece but 
I've got other things that I need to get on with before that, so we shall see. Okay, next up. Okay, three cells that aren't quite so fine. The next one is from Late by Needle Craft, and this is um, charted by uh, G French from Stitches of None. Sorry, <clears throat> needle mind is in the fabric. Okay, this one was up to date. The last part got released on Monday. reason that's all wrinkly <laughs> uh, last part got released on Monday which will go here and then that one will be complete and I'm thinking about putting my initials and the date in this empty block here I'm not sure yet but if I do that's what I'll do and I'll choose the back stitch colour from the rest of it and my needle mend is from Needle Keep Emporium this is stitched on 32 count even weave. Um, it's a Cafe Olay one, which was suggested for the sale by Fabric Flare, which I purchased from Lakeside as part of the sale package. I had the threads, but I just needed, obviously, some fabric and the chart, so I bought the chart and the fabric together. So I'm hoping um, to stitch that today and get that completely finished. Um, I need to get a frame in that for it, but I'm hoping that'll be one sale less come the end of the month. Okay, the next one. Rosie, you've probably seen this one. Here's the Lakeside Christmas sale. Love this one. Um, I've got all the rooms done, back stitched. I'm missing a little bit of snow down here, which I'd forgot. Um, but other than that, the bottom parts are done. My roof, I've had so many frogs with this whole piece. Um, so I'm not going to complete the roof just yet. The first part comes out next week. So and that's going to go into the roof so I got the roof is wrong it's out slightly so I'm going to wait for the first part see if I need to pull all this out or not if I do fair enough but I don't want to go any further on this until I know whether it's going to fit and this is stitched on 36 count even weave and it's the exclusive winter snow uh, my needle minders the um, little penguin is from Needle Keep Emporium, and the little robin is from Lakeside Needle Craft. It was part of the sale we could buy the needle minder, and I do believe they're bringing out needle minders for each of the rooms. What's going to be in them, I don't know. But we shall find out. And the chart does use down at the bottom here. DMC metallic, which probably isn't going to show up, but there's DMC metallics in the tree, um, in other parts of the tree, and just a little bit of back stitch on the little presents for the robins. Uh, yeah, really enjoying this one. Um, on the sides here, the brickwork is meant to be one less than the orangey brown colour. But I didn't want the unevenness, so I stitched it so it's all going straight down. Um, it's the first time I've worked on a 36 count. My highest I've been was a 32. I have to say, I struggled a little bit with this but I love the overall coverage especially for the black um, I even need to drop back down to a 32 because I love that on the um, greenhouse 
this or oh, I need to invest in a magnifier or something. We shall see, but I do love that one. Excuse me, I've got my coffee. Okay. And my last sound. Yep. My last sow and this was just released on Monday. Again by Lakeside Needlecraft. And it's the Halloween sow um, designed by Doreen Jones. I've got the whole of uh, page one complete and I'm working on page two. And this is stitched on a 36 count even weave in pumpkin by Fabric Flare. I got this from Lakeside. Um, and it's got the exclusive needle minder for it. And then this one is from um, Needle Cube Emporium. Or Hello Kitty Halloween. So yeah, this one's been easy stitch, but again, it's on 36 count, so not sure but I absolutely love this fabric um, it's smaller than I expected but maybe that's because I'm on a smaller count I mean I've got quite a big border that's as high and as low as it's gonna go so we'll see and these aren't gonna fray I use a fray check on the edges before I start so yeah it's got a little bit of fraying on there but that's not gonna go any further Okay, so they're all my cells. Okay, so I have a few other whips. Two, maybe. Um, my first one, which I will pick up on the fifth for Stitch Mania full coverage, is my Quick Stitch uh, Wizard of Oz. I've done about three days on this. Um, it's my first ever Heaven and Earth, and I'm just sort of doing colour by colour I mean that's as wide as it's going to go and that is the top um, I'm not sure quite how far down it's going to go but there's only there's not that many pages so I'm getting there slowly um, I should pick this back up on Saturday ready for the 5th and get some more work done so hopefully I can I don't know if I'm going to fill in some more of this or whether I am gonna work down no that side I was going work down this side and um, get to the bottom because my fabrics way too big but if I can do that then I can cut this down but I don't know yet it's the first time I've used um, gridded aid or anything I don't use your grid this is on 18 count and it's two over one full crosses and my little lion is from Needle Keeping Poem. I started this at the beginning of the year. I missed um, March and I think I missed May. Um, but I have done January, February, July, maybe I missed June as well. Two, three or four days in so I'm really pleased with that progress okay my next one which I was working on is this it's still on the um, Q-snap um, I haven't taken it off it's just a small design I should I take that off okay, and I love this fabric it was from a grab bag from pole stitches and I went through what I had in fabric and I put all this that. so I've got another corner to do I've got a moon to do and some stars I've actually got a picture of the chart so this is the one I am doing and this is by Doreen Jones it's a Halloween silhouette so I plan to do probably all four of these um, whether they'll be done this year I don't know um, but hopefully shouldn't take massively long um, there is some um, 
special stitches for that bit and then there is um, the beads in there as well so yeah looking forward to finishing that hopefully another one maybe two days and that'll be done so yeah that's how far I've got and I the um it's a linen I think it's probably 32 count but yeah it's got all the sparkle in it too it's an orangey red it's showing up pretty true to colour so love that one Um, and I purchased that when Doreen Jones had a 50% off sale and I purchased this one as well. I don't know if I've stitched this up this year or not, um, but I've got it now and I've got both of those. Basically I bought one and got one free. Okay, my next piece is from magazine I started this on one of the year of starts for stitch mania haven't got a lot done on it it's the happiness is a rainbow of new thread skins and I just fell in love with this when I got it okay. um, and this was from the world of cross stitching not sure what issue it was but if anybody wants to know i can find out i can go through my magazines i just pulled the chart out and popped it in here so i haven't got a lot done i only did one day's work on it so all i have done right on the crease <laughs> all i have done is that center piece there which is the centerpiece on the chart. That's all I've done. Is that? Um, I love the fabric. It's stitched on the recommended fabric for it. It's a 28 count even weave in amethyst cloud. I purchased that from Needle uh, Lakeside Needlecraft. And my needle mind is from Needle Keeping Porn. Um, I plan to work on this some point this month. Maybe try and do 30 to 60 minutes a day if I can on it. We'll see as it's uh, Stitch Mania's um, month for magazine. I can't remember what they called the sale. But yeah, I'm hoping to work on that a little bit this month. So... Okay, most of my rest of these whips haven't got massive in. Probably this is probably my furthest along. It's Lizzie Kate at our house. And it says, at our house, we do real, we do mistakes, we do I'm sorry, we do do overs, we do fun, we do forgiveness. We do loud really well. We do hugs. We do patience. We do family. We do love. Uh, I saw Carolyn Mazio. Um, I think she stitched this up or started it. I'm not sure. Uh, I did start it. I've done a little bit on it. And I've got at our house. On. and I was working on the little branch haven't picked this up again for a little while and the needle minders from needle keep emporium and this is being stitched on 32 count Belfast linen in light mocha by Spygart and in the pack you get all the, you have to buy it as a pack, it doesn't come as just a chart. You get all the lovely threads for it. I've got Caterpillar by Classic Colourworks. 
uh, house wine really tealy morning glory mossy and these two are already well one of those I have anyway um the old gold Two of that one, yeah. We've got two of the caterpillar ones, and then there's just some white DMC. So, yeah, the whole chart is done in classic color work, so you get all the variated effect on the chart. Some of them you can see better than others. You can see it on the our house. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. You can probably see it. Or at least changing the lights just suddenly decided to go here. But there is subtle changes of the brown. I don't know if you can see that or not. And the leaves, they're changing like this darker this side and it's gone lighter. But yeah, it's an easy stitch. Not sure if I like linen overly much. I love even weave. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just find I struggle with the tension with my linen. So I usually use a hoop or a Q snap. I don't use like a scroll frame. And I can't always get the tension to stay with linen. So any suggestions? one I haven't done any work on this since the beginning of the year but it's from 365 cross stitch designs and it's the 2016 volume and this is the one I'm doing I've put some charms in that for it um, they're in the other room so I can't show you those but I will at a later date um, haven't got overly far and done a couple of days on this when I sort of started it boxing day in between and that's as far as I've got so far not a lot of border on this so I've got to be careful I think I'm afraid to at this now but I was starting to do all the outlines so that then I could just go in and fill them in so I will come back to this it's just I haven't got a lot and my needle minders from Needle Keep Emporium. And this is just on a piece of 28 count even weave. Just in white. Still a long way to go on that one. Um, again, that's not priority, so I'll get to it when I get to it. I started this one for Stitch Mania. I've only done waving on it, so I haven't got a lot of progress. It's by Design Works. It's Follow Your Dreams. It's Follow Your Dreams for they are the hope of the future. It's 11 by 14 and it's just on stitched on 14 count Ada. I know it's a Joan Elliott design. And all I have got done is a piece in the centre, which equivalates to somewhere in there. So, yeah. Haven't got very far and only did maybe couple of hours if that on that so I do need to come back to this I was going to stitch up for my daughter's birthday and that was in June but I lost my stitchy bug and yeah I just haven't picked it back up maybe it'll be done for Christmas if not next year gives <laughs> me a year to get it done I'm a bit overwhelmed by my stitch lawns 
this one I started as I just needed an easy stitch one night. I just needed a bit of mindless stitch. And it's Beauty and the Beast by Both Your Threads. And that's got a 14 count printed Spygar Ada. I can't see very well it's going there, but they've got black and there's some glitter. And there's a ribbon. I think the ribbon might actually have been held holding the black thread because I don't think we need it. Um this you have to stitch in three strands. So that was my start. Again, I've only done I'll have it back and I see the colours a bit better. I've only done one evening on this I just took it out to bed and made a start so we've started on the base head uh, work from the center and just stitch around so yeah I will come back to this but it's not a priority it is for me um, so yeah it's not a priority piece I'll pick it up when I feel like it, that's the whole point of the stitching, isn't it? To pick things up what we feel like. And if my sales are behind, they're behind, they're mine. So, as long as I'm enjoying them. Okay, just a few more. This one I started first, it's Mania. It's a Mill Hill kit. It's my very first Mill Hill. I've got a few Mill Hill kits in the drawer. Uh, I started this one for Stitch Mania. And it's the Ladybird Egg. Didn't get a lot done, just did a couple of hours maybe. with all your beads um thread and chart so yeah i didn't get a lot done um i want to stitch this one i've got some halloween ones i may start one of those we'll see probably shouldn't start anything else um but yeah i enjoyed this one um but it's definitely i think a daytime project and i did this sort of in an evening when i had a chance so I did notice it is coming quite close to the edge, but I did start in the centre, so I'm hoping that that's going to fit on okay. We don't need any edging on it anyway, because it's going to be an ornament, but yeah, really liking that one. It's meant to be a magnet, I think. I think there's a magnet in this pack. Yeah, there is, but I'm just going to make it into a little ornament. I've got a little white tree in my living room, and I plan to add it have it as a seasonal tree um, I did some put some Easter bits and pieces on there that I've done um, I haven't got any summer things yet on there so it's kind of nothing on there at the moment um, if I can get some Halloweeny bits I can maybe do those and then yeah Christmas I get some Christmas ornaments done I have got one from last year that I made Okay, another little mini. Again, started for Stitch Mania. Not loads done, just an evening again. Oh, it's just a little tatty teddy. Love these, they're very really easy to stitch. They're only like three by three. Kind of everything in the kit. I've got the whole set. Oh, and they're going up my stairs. So. I've done a bigger one and a, one that a friend gifted me. So that was my progress. And the stitches are going all where it's been folded. It'll be okay once it's finished and ironed. So yeah, I just did his little shirt and part of one of his hands and went down to his leg. Again, I haven't picked this up since, but when I, I'm going away on holiday and that's so when I may take this one with me. Um, 
finish off whether I get much stitching done is a different question but I'll probably take a couple of little mini ones like that or something with me okay my next one again I've not done a lot on this one I've got two more after this It's got three little socks and it's got a washing line. It's the My Garden by Sarah Abdul Magid. Um, you can find it on Etsy. It's Little Beach Hut, is her company name. So I started this, um, but not got very far. She looks so tiny on this, but it's just on a 28 count uh, cream jobelum and my needle minders from Needle Keep Emporium. Haven't got a picture of that because it was a PDF. Sometimes I print the pictures out, sometimes I don't. Um, all I've got is a chart. I really want to show you that, but yeah, it's called My Garden if you want to have a look. My little beach hut. Okay, the next one I've got is the line out for DMC kit. My stepdad absolutely loves rugby, um, so I plan to stitch this for him. Um, it's stitched on 16 count Ada. Okay, another kit. Again, I haven't got very far on this one. Um, why I've got this needle minder on it, I don't know. I'll probably have to change that up. <laughs> but, I've just got my little Mary Poppins. All I've got down is a little bit in the sky. I've only picked this up probably once. So I've just started in this top corner. It's the full coverage, so take me quite a while today but yeah that's the start we'll see how we get on this isn't one that I've wanted to pull out so plenty I want to pull out and start <laughs> but I need to get through a few of these I think or at least catch up a bit on some of my stitch alongs maybe and my last whip, uh, I started this last Christmas, I didn't do a lot on it, it was late into December so I didn't get a lot done. It's Dimensions Gold, toy shop and it's on an 18 count Ada, yeah 18 count white Ada, uh, I think it's that way up. I haven't even got needle minder on this one because um, it starts sort of buying them till after but yeah I started it and just sort of put it away because I thought I ain't gonna need that till next Christmas so I should maybe pull this one out at some point before Christmas and see how much I can get done it's only a 6x6 design but I don't know how long it will take to do it's my first dimensions gold one so we'll see And that is all of my current whips. So my plans for the month. I want to get the Halloween sale board complete. And then I'm, I didn't bring my diary with me. Um, I'm sure the first block's due out this month as well. So I want to get that done. Uh, the Christmas stitch longs out. That's out on Monday, I do believe. So I want to get that done and then I can decide if I need to frog all that roof. Excuse me. I want to get the greenhouse cell done, which I'm hoping to work on today and hopefully finish that as that only usually takes me a day to do. So hopefully next, if I make another one, next time it'll be finished, maybe even framed. Um, I plan to hang it on the wall behind. 
I've got my insect cell, which was my first ever cell. Um, I want to get this piece finished. So yeah, they're my four goals I set myself. So I want to do my Halloween, get the border done and keep that up to date. I want to get the Christmas one, the first block done and I want to complete the border. But until I know about the roof, I'm a bit hesitant to carry on with that. So I'll wait for the first release. I uh, finished uh, my lady's greenhouse cell. absolutely love stitching on that. And I forgot to say that's for charity 10% of that went to Macmillan. Lovely to stitch. I hope they do another cell. That was such a pleasure to stitch that one. So easy. The border took the longest, but each of the blocks. So lovely to stitch. I didn't think it was going to be my scene. I thought, um, I'm not really a garden -y person. I do love going out and sitting it but I can't now the heat and that sets everything off so I'd be really careful if I go out when it's really really hot but I do have all my plants and things out there um but I didn't think the greenhouse one would be maybe for me um but yeah I really really love it so I am keeping that if it wasn't going to be for me I was going to again give that to maybe my mum and my stepdad for Christmas or something but no, I love it. <laughs> uh, all of my cells I plan on keeping, buying for one. Uh, when I'm going to get that finished up, it was going to be a Christmas present, but I just don't think I'm going to get that done now. Um, so that may have to go on the back burner unless I can do a lot of catching up. So yeah, my goals are to do those four things. Once I have done those four, unless I've fancy working on something else <laughs> on the 5th which is Saturday I've got the full coverage so I shall work on my heaven and earth I only work on that one day a month and I'm doing that with um, Catherine from Needle Keep Emporium she's stitching that as well we just do that one day a month she doesn't always do it on the 5th um, sometimes mine's a day or two early or late but I try to get it done, so yeah, I'm hoping to get a day done on that on Saturday, depending on kids and everything else. Once those are done, those plans, I want to try and catch up a little bit on whatever sounds calling to me. Um, so yeah, we've got the New Year New Starts on the 17th. I'm undecided what I'm going to start on that. But I did pick this. Again, it's only a little design. It's on, this one's on 14 count Ada, so it shouldn't take very long. It's a 5 by 7 design. By Dimensions, I got this from so-and-so. And it's got everything you need inside. So I may start this this month. Or I might pull one of my mini um, Halloween big kits, we shall see. So, thank you for watching. Um, you know, hope this video went well. All being well, if I don't lose my nerve, I'll come back probably beginning of September. Probably be um, around the 5th, 6th maybe, once the kids have gone back to school and things. Unless I decide I've got like, more progress than what I've got, then I may do it a video before I go away. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you can help with any of the things I've asked, um, like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram, Lose Cross Stitch on there as well. I'll link that down below. And if you want any more information on any of my whips, sows and that, just leave a comment below. And I hope you enjoy watching. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.